Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Pinnipet Community Meeting. Today's date is February 17, 2022. If you're watching this from home, we encourage you to come join us live. We meet every first and third Thursday of the month uh, at 9 a.m. Pacific time. It's an opportunity to listen in to what the maintainers are working on, provide live feedback, ask questions, or get live help on Pinnipet. If you aren't able to attend live, you can also find us on the Kubernetes Slack channel at Pinnipet, uh, hashtag Pinnipet channel, and on Twitter at Project Pinnipet. When you attend these meetings, we ask that you please read and abide by our code of conduct. If you have anything else that you wish to discuss with the team, please add that to the discussion topics uh, at the end of the agenda. Additionally, when you attend, we ask that you input your name and any organization that you represent. This is so we can know who from the community is attending and we keep the lines of communications open. We also invite you to input uh, comments on our GitHub discussion board and uh, please detail the use of Pinniped and uh, add your organization's logo so we can promote your organization and learn more about how folks are using Pinniped. Okay, so we can move on to the announcements. So we released version 14. Uh, Pinniped now responds to course pre-flight calls against the CLIs. Uh, this was basically uh, our browser logins were failing with the latest Chrome update and the team uh, put together this release to help fix that. Any Anything from the team on this? Uh, I was gonna say, Brian Maru, correct me if I'm misspeaking, but I think in this particular case, if you were in an environment that was affected by this issue and you wanted to continue using Chrome, the latest Chrome, um, you could update just your CLI and it should just be fine. You don't, you don't have to mess with the server side stuff. There's, not, there's nothing inherent in the chain source CLI that would cause you issues. So that way, you, know, you don't have to coordinate this with your admin. As a user, you could just go get from the CLI and it should be okay. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. And we are already seeing this on Chrome, right? Uh, this is the rest of the browsers are still good to go. We suspect it could also affect other Chromium based browsers, but we haven't um, verified against like Edge or Chromium or anything else sort of built on the same uh, core browser functionality. But it wouldn't affect Firefox, it wouldn't affect Safari. It, it, it probably can never affect Safari because Safari just flat out refuses to send these requests in the first place. It just refuses to talk to the open host, which is fine, I guess. Um, I was going to mention as a, as a response to this, so this, this did sort of catch us off guard. Um, our, our CI did notice it, but by the time our CI noticed it, users were also seeing it because they had, you know, Chrome is famous for its auto update functionality. So users would start to see um, breakages that were very difficult for them to understand. Um, so in the response to that, we have updated our CI to also test against Chrome beta, so not just Chrome stable. So in the future, if such a breaking change occurs, breaking in the sense of breaking for us, um, we'd have like a month extra instead of like knowing just as people found out themselves. And it would give us a much longer runway to get something out real quick. Yeah, that's, that's excellent actually. Yeah, if, uh, if users are seeing anything different, we'd like to hear feedback um, even for different browsers. So. Anything more on this issue? Or we can move on to the next point. All right. The community feedback survey was sent out last time. Uh, please fill it out uh, if you already haven't. Uh, we'd love to hear your feedback on how you're configuring Pinniped, what kind of IDPs you're using, um, 
and in general, uh, any other feedback, uh, even with community meeting, et cetera, we'd love to hear from you. So please fill out the survey if you haven't already. Uh, the next item is that Winnipeg is hiring. And uh, if, uh, if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, um, please reach out to us. Uh, we are on hashtag Pinniped channel in the Kubernetes Slack. We are also on Twitter at Project Pinniped, um, and we'd love uh, for you to join us if you want to. All right, that's it for announcements, and we can go to Project Roadmap. So, Nothing much has changed on the roadmap itself since last time. Of course, we got the course fix out, but we are still looking to get um, the group refresh work out this month. And uh, we are also hoping that we get uh, documentation updates and uh, the FIPS work going out next month. Um, the team's also working on multiple IDP support and uh, exploring um, uh, other uh, UI dashboard work as well as um, compliance and security work. Uh, anything uh, the team wants to add here to our viewers, users? All right. So we don't have any discussion topics today, um, but I want to see if uh, you all want to bring up any of the work that you're currently working on. And if you want any feedback from the community users regarding that. Um, maybe I'll just mention that we put out a new um, getting started guide on the website. If you go to the docs page, it's kind of highlighted near the top page. Help folks who are new to Pinniped and want to understand the concepts, the benefits, and how to actually use it. Yeah, I'd say that's really an excellent uh, piece of documentation, one of the best that I've seen. Uh, so thanks, Ryan, for that. And uh, um, I, I can include that link in the announcement after the meeting is over. So definitely check it out if you already haven't. Do we want to say anything about what our next release will be? With, um, yes, uh, so group refresh. Group yeah, that would be group refresh. Uh, we're working towards that. Um, I'd let Margot give us some, you know, updates on it or details on it. Yeah, so I think we mentioned this at the last community meeting. We released the previous um, uh, upstream refresh work. So uh, when a user uh, refreshes their token, you know, they have a very short-lived access token, but they have a refresh token. And now that's tied in with the upstream IDP. And for OIDC IDPs, um, we released in the previous release um, a group refresh. So if a user's groups had been updated since they logged in, um, you know, first thing in the morning or something, um, those would be reflected into their Kubernetes groups, their new groups. Um, and so the new release will be uh, the same functionality, but for LDAP and Active Directory, um, as well as a flag to turn it off. Uh, for now, um, basically, we're still trying to figure out and get validation on how people tend to use LDAP and Active Directory groups because those, that operation can be pretty slow. Um, and so we're hoping most people can uh, use this functionality to update their groups because, you know, if you got removed from a group in the middle of the day, you'd want that to be reflected in your Kubernetes groups or if you got added. Um, but, and so, but, but those operations can be slow. So hopefully people can update their group search parameters, or their group filter or something to, to make that faster. But if they can't, we hope they can 
turn off the functionality and, and tell us what, what they're missing in order to be able to use it. Yeah, definitely. We'd like to hear once we release, uh, you know, how the users consume it and what kind of performance impact, et cetera, they see. So, yeah. yeah. Um, also, if you are uh, using, uh, if you have a use case for multiple IDP, uh, we'd love to hear that as well. Um, you know, we already are looking to provide that support. So if you have any feedback, please, please do let us know on that. All right, any other discussion topics that we want to bring up today for the community? Okay, so I think uh, we can wrap up uh, today. Uh, thank you all for joining. Today's Pinnipid community meeting. If you're watching from home, we'd love for you to join us live next time. Uh, until then, take care. Thank you.